Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we'll talk about error handling in Oracle Service Bus. And we'll also talk about how you can create your own custom faults. So error handling in OSB works similar to any other technology. For example, in Java, we have a try catch uh, option. So you try a certain piece of code and if something goes wrong and error occurs or fault occurs, it will be caught under the catch block. Similarly, in SOA people, we have scope. You define your code and siren scope and in something goes wrong, it will be caught under the catch block. Similarly, in OSB, we have an action called error handler. And that error handler, it can be defined for a stage node, pipeline pair node, that is for both request pipeline as well as for response pipeline and routing node and also for the entire pipeline and if we define that for entire pipeline that will be called as a service error handler so before we dig into the demo part and how we can handle a fault or raise a fault let's discuss where that fault is stored in osb so as we know there are seven predefined context variables we have header body attachment inbound outbound operations and fault so that fault variable is available in error handler and whatever fault that will come everything related to that fault will be there in this fault variable only so this fault variable will have types like error code reason details and location so let's see let's uh, let's start a demo and we'll we'll demonstrate you how you can take care of the faults in your osb service let's create a new project I'm going to name it as error handler demo. Now I will be creating some folders like proxy service schema. I'll create a schema, but I'll fast forward that because if you have seen our previous videos, you already know all of that. Here we go. Uh, I created a couple of folders for proxy service and pipelines and one schema based on which we'll create that uh, proxy service. So this schema is has one request element with employee ID, name and locations. It's a dummy schema that I have created just for the demonstration purpose. Now let's create a pipeline and a proxy and in pipeline we'll see how we can have the error handler working for us. And let's create a Vistal out of this XSD and we'll expose that as a proxy service. Here we go. So it is created. Now in our pipeline, let's drag and drop a pipeline pair. Let's rename these stages. Stage where we would expect it to fail or generate some error that we can handle. Okay. So raise error stage. And this is a response stage. However, as it's a one way service that we have created and will not be doing anything on this response pipeline. Now, if you see, we have this error handler action over here. 
so we'll drag now as you can see we can add it into the request pipeline response pipeline any of the stages or on the pipeline itself as i mentioned in the beginning of this video so let's give it to this uh, raise error stage so if something goes wrong and some error comes under this stage i want to handle it let me change this name as error handling stage now one way is that we can create our custom fault here and throw that fault and it will be caught but i'll explain that later on now let's use a validate activity to willingly you know raise that error in this particular stage so let's do that so we have an activity called validate i'll raise it put it here and let me create a dummy schema i'll explain you why i'm doing that let me just do it that do that first let me call it as dummy under the schema So the reason why I am I'm creating this dummy uh, schema because now I would want my service to validate against the dummy schema. So we want body variable to be statically validated against dummy schema. So of course the body will be this request element but we due to this validation it will be expecting an example element which will obviously fault and in that case we want to raise that error because we want to handle that under our error handler so now under this error handler just to show you guys how that fault variable looks like let me assign the fault variable to my uh, variable that i will define so here i will have this fault variable assigned to where fault which is a custom variable it's not a predefined context variable it is a variable that i am defining and i would want fault variable to come here and once this comes i simply want to reply back that I have taken care of the issue and now we can stop this process now with success. So with success, it will not, this flow will not be error, erroring out because we have handled the fault and we are returning a success message. So this is it for uh, the development perspective. Let's deploy it and test it. So as we can say it is deployed now let's go to the service bus console and let's test this so as you can see on the service bus we have this error handler demo and we'll test the pipeline this does not matter whatever we give so as you can see it says no response but it did not fail because we replied the uh, success message with the reply activity now if you see raise error stage then it the compiler moved to error handler now in error handler this is the fault as you can see but what we see here is the fault variable but we also assigned the fault very where fault fault also so if you see here both we both are same so with that validate activity failing this is the error code for that all right this is the reason validation validate action failed validation now these are the details of that message and this is the location all right so that's how you can handle any fault using the error handler action now let's just talk about how you can throw a fault 
like in Beeple we have a throw rethrow activities here we have an we have an action called raise error where you can define your custom error code and also the reason for that particular error so let me show you how that works really quick so now uh, rather than this uh, validate fail I'll delete this one I don't want it to fail due to validation let me raise a fault so if you see raise error is an action I'll come here under this you'll get two options one is the code you can simply say OSB whatever code that you want to give I'm just giving 1001 and this message will be termed as the reason of that fault so I'm just gonna write this is a custom fault okay and that's it uh, if you'll see it will throw that error and in the assign we will be able to see the error code and the reason that we have assigned and in reply let's send it with failure now and now we will be able to see on the console that it actually failed so let's redeploy this it is redeploy let's go to the service bus console now let's test it So now if you see the error it says that resulted in an error because we replied it back with the error. Now if we see here, if we see this fault variable, you'll see that error code is this and the reason is this is a custom fault. So that's how you can create your custom error codes, custom faults. That's how you can handle any sort of fault that comes in your pipeline pair. However, there are certain reporting actions also, for example, how you can generate a report out of an error or even if you want to generate a report on any certain conditions, we have a logging action and we also have some alerts, pipeline alerts, SL alerts, those sort of things. So those actions you can use and you can utilize them to create an error handling framework in your OSB. So in future, I will be explaining about those activities also that you can leverage and use in your error handling framework. So this is it for this video, guys. And thank you so much for your time. Take good care of yourselves and you have a nice rest of the day. Bye-bye.